So that was our secret shared as mother and son in the film. Whatever creates things that makes things more exciting and bubbles up anything inside of you that like makes things extra is what I think is really helpful in, you know, scenes or with another actor. I only felt like I had to really magnify the feeling of, in, especially in that piano scene, of someone making you feel like you'll never reach your creative potential, which is something for all of us that will, I mean, any type of art or, you know, certain jobs that make you feel, in any job really, like that can make you feel so terrible, terrible about yourself when someone trumps you with their artistry in such an easy and effortless way that you feel like, you will never be the artist that you want to be. We didn't even work together in that scene. That's the magic of movies right there. He wasn't even on the set that day. That's, that's movie making, you know? It was great for the whole set. It was just great for the environment. And whatever is good for an actor to do whatever they need to do to give the best performance is good for everybody, I think. So us not talking made sense. We barely have any scenes anyway together in the film. And for someone like him, who's so kind and generous with his natural personality, he, I think it, Jane wanted to, gave him permission to just shut that part of himself off, which is not something that's easy for someone like him to do. So it was, I could see that it was, it was very good that, that he did that and that, she, you know, because it's, it's, it's awkward to not be nice to people on set, not just not be court, you know, not even to be like, you know, good morning or, Hey, how was your weekend? Like he didn't have to do any of that because he was Phil. So, you know, which is, <laughs> it's kind of great. So whatever helps your artistry. See, for me, I'm more uncomfortable I think I'd be more uncomfortable not saying good morning. For some reason, for me, being in a room and not having everyone with me in a way, like in the scene, like would make me more in my head maybe? I don't know. I, I feel like we're all on the set together in a way. Phil's in that very isolated character though. So maybe if I was playing someone really isolated, I did think about, I have a, I have to play a role. It's like not very, like not, if I had to play a role, it was like zero vanity. I'd be like, okay, let's like cover the mirrors in the hair and makeup trailer or cover the mirrors in your trailer. So you're not just like, cause it's very natural even on doing this to like glance over at yourself and be like, oh my hair, or you know what I mean? It's just, so I think that if I was playing a character with like zero vanity, I would just maybe, I would, I've done tricks for myself. I just haven't um, not talked to everyone every day. I just haven't done that. I didn't speak in one scene all day because I just felt like when she did speak, it would, should feel like that feeling in your throat where you haven't spoken all day and it's weird to even hear your own voice. So I did do that for one scene. So I'll do little things for myself. And my voice actually cracked. It didn't make it in the movie, but the feeling is still there in the scene where you, you're so af afraid to speak and trust your own voice at that point. And your voice is different than when you haven't spoken all day, hasn't warmed up, you know? There's like a lack of confidence in that tone. Yes, George told me you play very well. Oh no. Yes. I'm terribly out of practice. Now, you've been playing a lot. Cody, when I first met him, I said, I had this idea to, um, or I got this idea to, to tell, to have a secret with him so that we had a little creepiness together, a little bit of a weird, what's going on with this mother and son that they have this secret together, like some past that binds them, a tragedy, whatever it is that you feel that tension between them that there's a secret because when you meet them, you know, you see they're functioning at this inn, they run this inn together, but it, there is a there is a secret shared and it isn't from the book and it isn't in the film, but I guess I could say what the secret was. I, I just, in the book, my character's husband um, hangs himself and he's was like, a, he just really fell into alcoholism. That's why Rose is very against drinking and, and so, 
Cody and I thought, okay, well maybe we have the secret where you just let him do it and you were in the house or like you, somehow we had, we kept secret the fact that you might've partaken or let him do what he did. So that was our secret shared as mother and son in the film. It's just good in general to whatever creates things that makes things more exciting and bubbles up anything inside of you that like makes things extra is what I think is really helpful in, you know, scenes or with another actor. Yeah, when I looked at that landscape for Rose, it was just like she's shipwrecked in the ocean. To Rose, it's like so suffocating and like so isolating. And But to others, it's like the most beautiful place in the world. So, but yes, of course that really helps. We did all the exteriors first, which was a little bit difficult for me because I'd always just run out of the house, like screaming for my son. And it was just like a lot of that and big breaks like, Oh, I'm, I don't work for a week. And then I'm like crying to the natives. And it, there was just like very, you know, my, all my outside stuff is like bursting out of the house. So I felt a little like, oh, I don't know everybody yet. The crew, it's like, hi, I'm Kirsten. Ah! <laughs> um, I remember I scared the horses once and I, you know, I, the Wrangler came over and they're like, you know, you, you shouldn't be yelling near the horses because you frighten them and they could kick you. I was like, oh God, I didn't know that. So it was a lot of like, it was, yeah, in the beginning, I just felt like the crazy witch of the house. You know what I mean? Well, any opportunity to work with Jesse, I will take. To me, he's like the best actor of, you know, our generation. And I just, that I fell in love with him creatively first on Fargo. Like, oh, he's like, I love worked. We loved working with each other. We both felt that way, you know? It's funny because we didn't, we had some scenes together. We, it, you know what, it just, it's, it's so effortless working with him. So for me being together, even when we aren't working together, we always bounce each, you know, we always talk to each other about what we're working on or ideas and things. So it, it was, it's pretty effortless. Like the only thing that we had to play is like more being more reserved with each other, obviously. And it was a more old fashioned time, the way men and women were with each other. And so that's really it. I mean, to be honest, that scene on the top of the hill to me, I just, we just kind of had to make it as authentic as possible in a very natural way and not, it was interesting. I remember watching it for the first time in the theater and Jane turned up the intimacy of that scene and our voice is so loud, which was so amazing because in a scene like that, someone would try and mix it in with the natural surroundings and she really turned up the intimacy of our voices and, and that kind of made the scene too and then Jesse has that beautiful line and I don't know it's just very easy to act with him and um, to make things it was it's nice to already have that chemistry with someone and and then to have that cemented in film for us and our kids to see one day and that's pretty that's not normal that's pretty special Sigh. What is it, George? I oh, just... I want to say how nice it is not to be alone. Well, when you were talking about the intimacy that's created on a set like that, I, I thought about Sophia, I thought about Lars, because they also create like that feeling of security where that quietness on a set or the hardest scene for me was probably creating that drunk, like on the couch and having to talk about her childhood and all of that. We rehearsed that scene a lot. It almost felt like I was doing a play when we when we did that scene, just because it's so specific to like nail all the important beats, but then let it all go and be able to mess up and slur and try and make this feel natural. You just want a director that gives you the freedom to try things and isn't controlling and is supportive and shares their own feelings about what drew them to the work too. Like I remember Jane and she's talked about this, so I don't feel weird 
you know, sharing this, but she had a nanny that like was really horrible to her and gaslit her. And so like with food, with, with things that are just like horrendous. And I rem and so I really, I knew that was her, you know, way into Rose and her feelings um, towards Rose was that experience for her. So to, to have that intimacy and to know about your director's own struggles and really helps in, in having a bond to like create together, I think. Like, I think that's important. I mean, I even, yeah, working with other directors and they share about their depression or whatever it was, the more intimate, I think the more, you, the more you just like get to know someone and really are unafraid and, and you're honest with each other, I think the better everything will be on set, even if those things are uncomfortable to talk about. Hmm. Well, for me, it's Greta Seacat, my acting teacher that I work with. She's someone that I've worked with now since I was 27 and um, someone that kind of, I don't know, she just, uh, she really helped me fulfill roles to their fullest potential in myself, I think, in a way that um, I didn't have before working with her. I thought about Johnny Greenwood because I have never met him or anything, but I listened to his music a lot when I was playing Rose. I listened to the mat the soundtrack of There Will Be there will be blood a lot, especially before my scene with the Native Americans, because I thought to myself, oh, well, he's going to be writing this music. Uh, having it inside me might help him too. You know what I mean? If I already have kind of his artistry helping me and my emotions, maybe it'll be good for him at the end of the day, but I've never told him that, or we haven't talked about that or anything. I really wish I was back in the day with like Jenna Rollins and Cassavetes and could have been in one of their films. That would have been really like opening night or something that would have been fun I, I just want to know what it was like on their sets <laughs>